Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a video for you. It's going to be kind of a quick one. Uh, there's not a ton to show on this sheath. And I'm also on my way out the door to mail this and a couple other projects. So, <clears throat> actually, bear with me. I'll show you those real quick just to show you. Alright, so if you've, if you've been following me on Instagram, you've already seen them. So I apologize for being redundant. But I have a couple of my BBCK wallets that I've just made. So this one's going to chip and Chip I apologize I don't recall uh, where you're from off the top of my head but I'll be putting this in the mail for you today. And this one goes to... oh man. Dude if you're watching this I'm so sorry. <laughs> I haven't actually looked at my order slips in a couple days so uh, but you'll be getting this in the mail in a couple of days. So um, anyway, this is for an Etsy customer. Um, so, all right, that's that. <clears throat> now onto the main event. So uh, if you look back on my videos and if you check on my Instagram, you'll see um, a customer had sent me his Mora Eldris, and it was a green handle on that. And he asked for a tech lock belt carry with a fire steel on it and it was a fun project and got a lot of really positive feedback well so he's been enjoying that sheath and he just sent me a couple other knives uh, to work on so he sent me his buck pack light skinner and he did have paracord wrap on this which I had to take off to make the sheath but I'll, uh, I'll be sending that back to him so he can rewrap this however he sees fit so I got the buck pack light skinner nice little knife and the Ontario Raider Bowie also known well I think that's its nickname its official name is the RTAC 2 I don't know if you can see that on there but so this thing's a nice big knife so he wanted a piggyback system for these and uh, no attachments or anything but he wanted the dangler system to be a leather dangler going to a tech lock so it actually will sit on his belt on a tech lock but uh, be a leather dangler at the same time and if you had seen my uh, my original auto open design for folding knives I had sort of done that already so I just kind of upgraded my my design here uh, well you can see this uh, the colors you wanted on a sheath were Cryptek Mandrake and Coyote Brown. So I kept that same theme going. I think those colors look really nice together. So I've got a plate in Coyote and then the dangler, the leather actually between these two sheets. And then the uh, Cryptek Mandrake over the front. A couple screws holding it all in place, but I thought that looked really sharp. So, um, so that's what we got for a carry system. It should be very strong. I actually doubled... You can see I finished it off like I do my normal danglers, but I have two straps going up just in case. So it's, that's really rugged. So let's take a look. Normal dangler attach point here. Alright, so the Bowie goes in nice. Um, it should probably be enough weight for, yeah, it should be fine for a one-handed draw just like that. Um, just a heads up Dan the area that this thick handle has to come out uh, just because this is so wide it's going to scrape a little bit against some of the kydex so it won't pull out super quick and super smooth but sorry dropping stuff but you can see I can pull it out with one hand um, and especially with the resistance of the dangler it's not a problem at all so alright so that's that one now this buck was a real challenge because you can't really do it like you would a normal one and you can't really have a thumb ramp like a normal thumb ramp you know like this guy here because it's just the thickness of the blade stock you don't have handles on it and even though he's going to be rewrapping it doing a paracord wrap on it that you know you can't really count on paracord because it's going to shift every time and the heat might actually even damage it anyway so i wouldn't really mess with trying to mold paracord it's not going to it's just not going to work, I don't think. So you kind of just have to find pinch points and, and work with it. And um, the compromise that I made here was it does 
it does kind of pinch the blade. Um, the actual cutting edge should be protected, but it's probably going to leave streaks and some wear marks over time. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, and to make sure that that doesn't, you know, happen too aggressively or too quickly, I left it just loose enough. There is still just a tiny, tiny bit of play. I think you can probably see that on camera, but it's not really rattling around and it's certainly not going to fall out. So, um, that'll look really nice once you get to that paracord wrap back on there. But in the meantime, I think this looks pretty cool too. So, um, actually... I'm not going to do it and re-record, normally I would, but before I send it out, I'll, I'm going to brand my logo right in this corner here. So, alright, well that's what I got for you guys. If you like this sheath, please go down and hit the like button. And if you like my channel and my videos in general, please go hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you are subscribed, go ahead and hit it again. Hit that little bell so you can get notifications anytime I upload a video. So, alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, comment. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. God bless.